Hi everyone. In this video I will be demonstrating a few basics behind recoding of variables using Stata. And the data set that you see on your screen is the one we will be working with throughout this demonstration. I have saved this data set to a Stata data file that you can download by following the link that's provided underneath the video description. Now before we actually open up Stata and begin uh, our process of recoding variables and so forth, let's briefly consider the data that we're working with. So this is essentially a set of fictional data where each row represents an individual who responded to various uh, survey questions. And so the first variable that you see right here is gender ID or gender identification and it has values of 1 and 2 on it. So basically a value of 1 indicates that a person identified as male, a value of 2 indicates a person identified as female. So what we will be doing as part of our demonstration is recoding this gender ID variable uh, so that um, a value of 0 indicates male and a value of 1 indicates female. Next you can see that we have four items, basically item 1, item 2, item 3, and item 4 associated with a fictional measure of interest and enjoyment in learning about Stata. So these are the items that we're uh, talking about right here. And so as you're looking at this, you can see that basically individuals would have responded using a scale ranging from 1 being strongly disagree to 5 being strongly agree. So we have values of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now the first two items basically represent an affirmation of the um, idea of being interested in enjoying uh, learning about Stata. And then the la latter two are basically kind of contrary sentiments. So you can see that uh, item three is this I avoid working with Stata when I can and item four indicates uh, is basically reflecting or st stating that I avoid taking classes that use Stata. So if I wanted to create a full scale or composite measure of interest and enjoyment in learning about Stata then what I would need to do is to reverse code items 3 and 4 before I sum or average responses across those items into a composite measure. Then our last variable that you see right here is this engagement variable and the lowest basically the minimum value is 1, maximum value is 9 and we are, we are going to be recoding this engagement variable into a new variable uh, so that uh, values that are less than or equal to 5 on the original variable are coded 1 and values that are greater than 5 are coded 2. So now let's go ahead and open up Stata and begin our demonstration. So here we are in Stata and just briefly if I click on the data editor icon you can see that we have our gender identification variable item 1, 2, and 3, and 4 from our little survey and then this engagement uh, variable that you see right here. Uh, also if I wanted just to, to visualize it without having to open it up I could, just, I could do that very easily just by using list and hit enter and there you go. So the first thing that we are going to do is to recode this gender ID variable so that again values of 1 are recoded into zeros, values of 2 are going to be recoded into 1's. So to do that we're going to go down to the command line and type recode and then the name of our variable which is gender ID and then inside a parenthesis we will type 1 equals 0 in parenthesis and then we'll create a new parenthesis and type 2 equals 1 and in parenthesis. So when I hit enter what's going to happen is is that the values of 1 that you see uh, right here all of those are going to be changed to zeros so that's why this says 1 equals 0 and then the values of 2 that you see right here are going to be recoded into 1's and that's why we have 2 equals 1 right there. So the the first number is the original value, the second number is the one we are recoding into. So I'll uh, hit enter right here and then we'll type list and so now you can see, just make a comparison, there's our gender ID variable with ones and twos, now we have values of zero and one. So that's basically all there is to it. Now we could have recoded the gender ID variable into uh, a new variable containing the zeros and ones uh, if we didn't want to sort of uh, destroy the original uh, coding that we had but we wanted to also have a new variable that 
uh, was the same variable but with the new recodings. We could have done that. We didn't do it here, but what we will do is do, the, do that very thing using our items three and four um, from our little survey. So let's uh, go ahead and go to the command line and I'm going to recode item three so that values of one are going to be equal to uh, a recoded value of five. So we're going to convert the ones to fives, twos to fours, uh, we'll leave three equal to three and then we'll uh, convert four to twos and fives to one. So to do this we'll go to our command line, we'll type in recode, then item three and that's the name of the variable. There's no space or anything uh, right there. So we have item three and then we will type our parenthesis and type in one equals five in parenthesis, then we'll type two equals four, then we'll type three equals to three, and then four equals two, and then five equals one right there. Now if I hit enter at this point it's going to recode item three so that those values the, uh, that recoding is reflected. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, type a comma and then we'll type in uh, GEN for generate and then inside parenthesis we're going to create uh, type in the name of our new variable. So I'm going to type in item uh, three and I'll put an R right there for uh, recoded if you will I'm just that's just my arbitrary naming system and then I'll hit enter and so now you can see in our data set that we have this new variable is created which is item 3r and you'll notice it also says recode of item 3 and we'll do the same thing for item 4 so I'll type in recode item 4 1 equals 5 2 equals 4 3 equals 3 4 equals 2 and then 5 equals 1, comma, then gen, and then we'll, uh, inside parenthesis, I'll type item 4R. Remember, that's just an arbitrary naming of the recoded item. So now I'll hit enter, and so now you can see that that is uh, reflected in our data set. So just briefly, if I type list right here, you can see that we have our item 3R and item 4R. So you can see that for item 3, it was originally 3, we maintained that coding. Uh, there's a 3 right here, maintained. 2 is converted to 4. Uh, 4 is converted to 2 right here. Uh, for item 4, you can see there's a 5 that's recoded into a 1, uh, 1 which is recoded into 5, and so forth. So that's, that's uh, basically all there is to it. And again, the reason why you might uh, do this type of recoding from an original variable into a, a recoded uh, variable is if you want to maintain the original data uh, prior to recoding in your data set, like the item 3 and item 4, I didn't just write over those values, but now I have new variables where it explicitly indicates to me that I've actually recoded those items. Uh, sometimes if you go back to a data set along, you know, that you worked with a while back, uh, if you recode over the original items, then it becomes difficult to know, you know, perhaps uh, did, did I actually do that in the first place? And then it gets really confusing. So it's oftentimes helpful to recode um, the original variable into a new variable and then you have a definite signal that okay actual recoding uh, was done. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my uh, full scale or composite measure of interest and enjoyment in learning about Stata. So I'm going to go down to the command line and I'm going to type in GEN that's for generate and then I'm going to give a new uh, variable name. So I'll just call this interest uh, for lack of a more descriptive term and then uh, I'll type in equals and let's just say that I wanted to sum these items uh, sum across them so let's just say I want to sum item 1, 2 and then 3R and 4R that can easily be accomplished just by typing in item 1 plus item 2 plus item 3R plus item 4R and so when I hit enter then I end up with a new variable in my data set called interest. So this is it right here. That's just the sum across uh, each of those items for each case. So if I type in list, you can see, let me just kind of do that, list, uh, that now we have our interest variable right here. If I wanted to uh, uh, compute an average across those items, it's, it's basically the same thing, but uh, then dividing by the number of items. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy this right here 
and just to expedite things a bit and paste it down into my command line right there and I'm going to call uh, create a new variable I'll just call this interest AVG for average and I'll t put uh, parentheses around the items themselves you know separated by the plus sign then d uh, backslash or excuse me forward slash which is uh, basically indicating division by and then four which is the number of items so now when I hit enter you can see that now I have that new variable that's uh, included in the data set so that's the average right there so I could use either of those to, to uh, reflect the full scale score so again if I just type in list you can see that now I've got um, in this particular case it uh, basically turned out that the uh, variable name was uh, rather long and it also kind of uh, folded around. So you can see there's the uh, average variable right there, 1.75 for the first case. The second case is 4.25 and so forth. It's probably a little easier just to take a quick look under the data editor at this point and you can see there's the interest average right there. Okay, so for the last part of the demonstration, uh, we're going to be recoding the engage variable right here. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to create a new variable called engage underscore r, where values less than or equal to 5 are coded 1, and values greater than 5 are going to be coded 2. So I'll begin. I'm just going to go ahead and clear this screen off a little bit. I'm going to type in CLS for clear screen. And now we will uh, type in... GEN and then we'll type in engage underscore R okay so now we'll type in equals and in this case what we're going to do is create a new variable with missing data for all um, all of our cases so I know this may seem a little bit weird but we're going to start off just by typing in equals a, a period and so when I hit enter you'll see it says eight missing values that are generated so really quickly we'll just go back to our data editor and you can see that we have our variable engage r or underscore r with missing values and what we'll be doing is replacing those missing values based on our recoding so we, we will go to the command line and now we're going to type in replace and then the name of our variable which is engage underscore r so we're going to be replacing the missing values based on a rule so we're going to say replace engage underscore r then equals zero or equals one excuse me and then we're going to type in if and then inside parenthesis we, we will say engage is less than or equal to 5 so and then in parentheses so notice what's happening we're creating a new variable called engage underscore r with missing values and then we will be replacing missing values with a value of 1 if engage on the original variable is less than or equal to 5 so now when I uh, hit enter you'll see it says 6 real changes made so just kind of uh, really briefly we'll go back to the data editor and you can see now those values have been changed so for the original uh, engage variable you can see where uh, with engage we had a value of one remains one right here a value of three is recoded to one right here you can see a value of six is still missing uh, data a value of five is now converted to a one because the rule is less than or equal to five value of two is converted to one and you can see this nine here uh, we still have a missing value on that original variable and so forth so now what we need to do is to also use the replace command in order to uh, to recode the remaining values that are greater than five into two uh, so what we'll do is we'll type replace oops let me spell that correctly replace and then engage underscore r and then equals two and then we'll say if engage is greater than five in parenthesis here and hit, then hit enter and so now we have two changes that were made and so now we have our values um, on the original variable that were uh, that range from one to nine we have recoded them uh, so that we have values of one and two on the engage variable
Now, for uh, one additional uh, thing I thought I might show you, let's just say that we wanted to use the engage R variable as um, we just wanted to, to, to uh, rename this variable uh, into a new variable. So we can do that easily by using the rename function. Um, let's just say that I want to treat this variable as engage instead of uh, engage R. Well, I can do that. First off, if I wanted to uh, rename this, I would need to drop uh, the original engage variable. So the original engage variable, you can see right here, uh, range with, had values that ranges from 1 to 9. So I can drop that variable very easily. I'm going to type drop and then engage and then hit enter. And so now you can see that that engage variable no longer shows up in my data set. Um, and that's really the case with any time that you use the drop command. So it's very easy. If you have a, a variable that you want to drop out of your data set, you can just use, you can just type drop and then the name of that variable. So I've dropped the original uh, engage variable and now I'm going to use the rename function. I'm going to type rename and then we'll type in the old name, which is going to be engage underscore R. And I'm going to re rename this engage. Um, so then I'm going to type the new name which will be engage right here and then hit enter and so now you can see that that original uh, engage underscore R has now been changed to uh, read as just engage. Okay so that uh, pretty well wraps up this video presentation on recoding of variables using Stata and I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day.